Did you know that ants are super strong for their size? It's true. These tiny creatures can lift things many times their own weight. There are thousands of different types of ants all over the world. Let's learn more about these amazing insects. Ants are fascinating creatures that live in large groups called colonies. They are social insects, which means they work together to survive. From the busy ant trails in your garden to the intricate nests they build, there's so much to discover about these tiny wonders. Are you ready for an adventure into the world of ants? Let's begin! Ants might be small, but they have bodies that are just as interesting as any other creature. Like all insects, an ant's body has three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head is the control center of the ant. It has the ant's brain, its eyes, and its mouth. Ants use their antennae on their heads to smell and feel their surroundings. The thorax is the middle part of the ant's body. This is where the ant's six legs are attached. The legs are very strong and help the ant to run quickly and carry heavy objects. The abdomen is the last part of the ant's body. This is where the ant's stomach and other important organs are located. Some ants also have a stinger in their abdomen that they use to defend themselves. Ants are found all over the world, from hot deserts to lush rainforests. They live in all sorts of habitats, but they all need a place to build their nests. Ant nests can be found in the ground, under rocks, in trees, and even inside our homes. The nest is a very important place for an ant colony. It provides the ants with a safe place to live, raise their young, and store their food. Some ants build very simple nests while others build elaborate nests with many chambers and tunnels. Some ants, like carpenter ants, even build their nests in wood. They don't eat the wood, but they chew through it to make tunnels and chambers. This can sometimes cause problems for humans if they build their nests in our homes. Whether they live in the ground or in a tree, ants are always busy working to keep their colonies clean and safe. They are truly amazing architects of the insect world. Section 4. The Life of an Ant Just like butterflies, ants go through different stages in their lives. This is called a life cycle. There are four stages in an ant's life cycle. Egg, larva, pupa, and adult. First up, the egg. The life cycle of an ant begins with an egg. Ant eggs are very small and oval shaped. The queen ant lays hundreds or even thousands of eggs in the nest. Next we have the larva stage. When the egg hatches, a larva emerges. The larva looks like a small white grub. It doesn't have any legs and cannot see. The larva's main job is to eat and grow. Then there's the pupa stage. After the larva has grown big enough, it changes into a pupa. The pupa looks like an adult ant, but its legs and antennae are folded up against its body. The pupa doesn't eat or move around much. Inside the pupa, the ant is changing and growing into its adult form. Finally, we reach the adult stage. The pupa hatches into an adult ant. The adult ant has all the body parts it needs to survive on its own, including legs, antennae, and a hard exoskeleton. The adult ant's job depends on its role in the colony. The life cycle of an ant is a fascinating process of transformation. From a tiny egg to a busy adult, ants are always working to support their colonies. Ants are social insects, which means they live together in large groups called colonies. A single ant colony can have thousands or even millions of ants. But how do all these ants live together without any chaos? The answer is teamwork. Each ant in the colony has a specific job to do. The queen is the most important ant in the colony. Her job is to lay eggs. The worker ants are all female and do most of the work in the colony. They collect food, take care of the young, and build and clean the nest. The soldier ants are also female and have larger heads and stronger jaws than the worker ants. Their job is to defend the colony from enemies. Ants communicate with each other using chemicals called pheromones. They leave pheromone trails to mark food sources and danger zones. They also use pheromones to recognize other ants from their colony. By working together and communicating effectively, ants are able to accomplish amazing things. They can build complex nests, find and transport large amounts of food, and defend themselves against much larger animals. Ready for some amazing ant facts? Get ready to be surprised! Ants are super strong. They can lift objects that are 50 times their own weight. Imagine being able to lift a car. That's how strong an ant is relative to its size. Ants don't have lungs. They breathe through tiny holes called spiracles, which are located on the sides of their bodies. Ants have two stomachs. One stomach is for digesting their own food, and the other stomach is for storing food to share with other ants in the colony. This is called a social stomach. 
The largest ant colony ever found was over 3,700 miles wide. It was a colony of Argentine ants that stretched across Europe. Some ants are farmers. Leafcutter ants, for example, cut leaves and use them to grow a special type of fungus, which they eat. These are just a few of the many fascinating facts about ants. These tiny creatures are full of surprises. Observing ants in their natural habitat can be a fun and educational experience. Here are some tips for observing ants safely and without disturbing them. 1. Find an ant trail. Ants often travel in trails following pheromone scents left by other ants. Once you find a trail, watch how the ants move and interact with each other. 2. Look for an ant nest. Be careful not to disturb the nest, but you can watch the ants coming and going. You might even see them carrying food or building materials. 3. Offer the ants a treat. Place a small piece of fruit or a drop of honey near an ant trail and see how long it takes for the ants to find it. Watch how they work together to carry the food back to their nest. 4. Remember to be respectful. Ants are living creatures, so it's important to observe them without harming them or destroying their nests. After you've finished observing them, leave the area as you found it. Observing ants can teach us a lot about teamwork, communication, and the amazing diversity of the natural world. So, next time you see an ant, take a moment to appreciate these tiny but mighty creatures. From their incredible strength to their complex societies, ants are truly remarkable creatures. Although they are small, they play a vital role in our ecosystem, helping to decompose organic matter, disperse seeds, and control pest populations. Next time you see an ant, remember all the fascinating things you've learned about these tiny but mighty insects. Share your newfound knowledge with your friends and family, and encourage them to appreciate the wonders of the ant world. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video to join us in discovering more amazing topics together.